people back with uh, another unboxing for you today it's been a while since I've done any videos I've been really really terrible at getting my videos filmed um, I really need to do a flip through of my planner but it's gonna have to wait for about another week <laughs> but I'm super excited to do this unboxing today because it's from Somebody I've never purchased from before. And I honestly didn't think that this was going to show up in time. So I'm going to get rid of the bags and then we'll talk about the boxes. Sorry about like the weird lighting here. There's like the shadow over here and all kinds of weird stuff, but whatever. So, as you can see, I have an order from Galen Leather. These boxes represent my very first and second orders from them. I put in an order. Um, I'm leaving for vacation tomorrow, and I really wanted some nice pen cases to take my pens with me. And I put in an order, and I really did not think that I was going to get these in time. So, I've had them for a couple of days now. I was really, really happy to get them. I'm surprised how fast FedEx can get a package to the United States from Turkey. It's just amazing. So I guess we could just jump in because there's just, I don't know what's in the box. I mean, I know what's in the boxes. I just don't know what's in each box. So let's just, let's start with the teeny one. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so do I just rip it off, do you think? Yes, just rip it off. Okay, oh, this is the the Crazy Horse. I think this is still called Crazy Horse when it's in a different color. Uh, it's in this beautiful green. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. So you have like this little secretarial pocket. This little card pocket here and room for three pens. Isn't that adorable? Let's see, let's put a pen in there. See if my Twisbees fit in there. Ooh, yeah. I wouldn't go much taller than a Twisbee in this guy. Okay, well, I can tell you it's really cute, but um, this is pretty full now with these three Twisbees. Um, as far as the thickness goes, this is a nice slim case, right? So you don't have a lot of room to grow this way. So these pens are kind of thick. I suppose if I turn the, the clip to the side, it might help. But they do fit in here. You're just not gonna be able to put a lot in this pocket for this one, So, but that's okay. Um, I don't mind that. This might actually be a good case for my Retro 51 pens. Let's see, I have one sitting here. Oh yeah. I guess I didn't get the clip in there, did I? There we go, yeah. So yeah, it would work great for my Retro 51. So here's another one. Uh, let's see, I'm sure I have another one lying around somewhere. This one's kind of a chunk. This is a chunky one. This is a big shot. So there we go. Yeah, so it is a nice little case for, ooh, the Retro 51s. So my conclusion is it's super adorable. Um, I like the size, it's very compact. This would be great for just tossing in your bag. 
and having your pens in here. What I would caution you about is if you have like these hopes and dreams of putting three pens in here and then like a little notebook, it's gonna have to be a really skinny notebook. So, but I do like this a lot. Okay. That's a win. I like it. Let's see. Put it back in here for right now. These boxes are very um, sturdy. Oh, uh, what's in here? Ooh, how exciting. Okay, so this is like a little, what would you call this? Like a little satchel or whatever that you'll get with your order. I've seen these on other people's unboxings. We got some tea. Um, I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a refreshing towel. Um, and here is some coffee and then my evil eye, which I'm kind of excited to get. I don't know why I was excited to get that, but I am. So this is like the distressed molded pen case. So, oh gosh, I've been so excited to get this. So it's got this really cool uh, button on it. I don't know if you call it a button. Um, but, well, it's not as easy to get open as I thought it would be. There we go. Okay, so it's got a pretend keyhole. I'm gonna get that up closer so you can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Um, I'm a little surprised that the insert is not distressed as well. That would have made more sense to me than sending the undyed leather. Um, I don't know if that's the way they send all of them, but you know, it's the inside, who cares? So let's try again with the Twisbees and they fit in there really nice. Slides right in. Perfect. That's just what I have the most of lying around. So they're kind of my go-to. Oh yeah, so that is so nice. Um, now when you think molded pen case, you would think that this would be hard. It's really not. But because you have this insert with these rails here, I don't know what else to call them. Um, it does protect the pen. So like you can't, I suppose if you dropped a brick on it, yeah, you could squish it, but it protects the pens really well. And the back is very sturdy. So I like that and I'm glad I bought that. So that is pretty darn cool. So I will put that back in here for now with my keys, my evil eye. All right, what's next? This is a pretty big box. I keep thinking, I didn't really order anything that big. Why are these boxes so big? But here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is exciting. Um, this is a, a pen case where you just slip in this insert. I think this is in Crazy Horse Burnout. I will put all the information in the description because I should have looked it up before I started and of course I didn't so what I liked about this one I kept seeing this one I like the fact that you know you can just take this out and have this sitting on your desk and you've got your pens in there and let's go to our uh, Twisbees you know Twisbees are kind of fat so if your Twisbee is going to fit in there a lot of pens are going to fit in there these are the, the um, Ecos, by the way, Twisby Ecos. Um, I have a, let's see, let's try this. There's a Twisby Diamond. Nice. And I think uh, I got this VAC, Twisby VAC. Okay, so there you go. They're all lined up and ready to go. 
and in they go and you still have room to put things so what would you put in there um you know you could put some sticky notes in here um gosh i'm not very well prepared for this video am i i don't know maybe you could put in some skinny rolls of washi and then zip it up wow i really like this this is fantastic it's exactly i mean i kept looking at it and looking at it and it's exactly what i was hoping for so yeah so good 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 that's also a win Twizzies. All right, that is really nice. Um, let's see. I'll put that back in here. Last but not least, Ooh, it's another one. So look at how teeny it is. <laughs> <laughs> this one, and of course, this is, was my second um, order. And it really came pretty fast. It didn't take long after the first order came that the second order came. So the reason I got this is these are actually made for mini pens. This one here. It's just a teeny version of... Boy, I really got to get my coordination down here with this. There we go. So it does not have an insert that pulls out, but if you look inside... You can see there's like leather in here and it's actually like glued in or something so so you would put in your little caveco and the reason I got this is because like I have the brown I think it's called espresso or something like that uh, special edition brown one I've lost it I have no idea where it is I've crawled around on the floor I've never taken it out of my house, so it's gotta be here somewhere. Matter of fact, it's in my office somewhere. I just have to clean my office and find it. But I thought I really should have had a little case for these tiny pens, so um, that's why I got this one. So let me just get the other one again and we'll just compare the size. So there you go. So regular pens, mini pens. Now. Um, I should go get my Twisby Mini and show you that a Twisby Mini does not fit in this. I'll be right back. So here's my Twisby Mini. So you can see that the Twisby Mini is a little bit bigger than the Caveco. Um, so I will show you. Oh, okay. I can plainly see this is going to get on my nerves. I'm doing something not right because once it goes, it's like easy. So you can see it's it's not gonna wanna buckle and I'm not gonna force it down. So it's really kind of sad that my little Twisby Mini doesn't have its own little house, but it will have to go in here with the big pens. So it does kind of go down pretty far in there, but you can always pull the insert out on this one. So that should be okay. That's, this has actually ended up being one of my favorite pens as it, it's a good writer, it's compact, so it's easy to take with you. You can post it because it twists on the back here. Um, and it, it writes nice and smooth. It handles my sparkly inks really well. So it's kind of like my unsung hero um, in my collection, but no more because I take it everywhere now. So let me put this back. By the way, if you want to get this in undyed leather, you can. So the entire thing would be like this, you know, and then it, as it ages, it would turn darker. But I cut to the chase and went with the distressed ones. I've got one more thing from Galen. And so the, when I put in my first order, this was sold out. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I buy. This is why I have no money. Um, so when I put in my second order, it was in stock. Oh, everybody needs a tiny scissors to carry. This one is so cute. 
Yeah, I think the reason I wanted this is just because it's tiny. Do I really need to carry a scissors? Probably not, but how cute is that? Because that is going to fit. Like, I could totally put it in. Here, let me take that thing again. It could fit in this thing easy with my pens. Um, the only thing is I wish it did have like a little cover, you know, because I wouldn't want this to poke through anything, if that makes sense. So maybe I just need to keep this little cardboard dealy that it came with so that I can put it in my pen case. I'm sorry, I don't know if that was in view, but it came in this little cardboard thing. So I could pop it in there. And there you go. So nice. Okay, so for that kind of concludes the Galen leather portion of my video, but I do have a couple of more things that I want to show you. So, whoops, that's got my address on it. This does too, so I'm going to hold it with my address side down. This is not pen related or Galen leather related. This is more planner accessories related. This is from Southern Bell Plans. So I will put her Instagram in the description. But I have bought some of these from her before and I really like them. And I'm going to destroy this envelope. Southern Bell Plans, how cute. Oh, look at this nice packaging. That's very pretty. Oh, look it. This is something I will keep. You know, this is not like packaging you're going to toss in the garbage. This is, you know, if you're like me, you're going to keep that and put that on or in something. And the same with these. These are super cute. I could totally use these. And this cute little thing here. Look at this tiny envelope. It's so adorable. I haven't even gotten to the part yet where I've gotten to my purchases. So there it says Southern Bell Plans. So yeah, nice. And it comes with this cute little card. Oh, look at the cutout. I love that. It's the dragonfly cutout. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's really cute. I like it. I like it. Okay. Try not to rip things. All these little envelopes, I, these are kind of things I like to reuse and it's so nice. Oh, isn't that pretty? You know what? I just put in another order with her and I almost ordered this because I forgot I had bought it. <laughs> you know, because I kind of had this envelope sitting around. I thought I'd do the whole shebang at once. So I've had this envelope sitting around for a few days. But it's got these beautiful, um, I guess you'd call them off-white leaves that are kind of like see-through almost. They're so pretty. And then this nice cream colored ribbon on top. Um, I've really found that I like decorating the planner, the inside of my planner with these. So I like that a lot. Oh, and this is so pretty. Look at this one's like the vintage bee. Wow. Nice. Here, I have this idea. I'm feeling like there's an Instagram picture um, in here somewhere, you know, like my vintage bee, all these little cute envelopes, and I have a feeling that is going to happen. So, <clears throat> yes, so Southern Bell Plans, very cute. You just order from her Instagram. She has that order form, so those are very cute. And like I said, I just ordered two more. Okay, so I'm going to keep those together, and I think I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to show you one more thing. Okay, so the box actually has my address all over the place because it's from overseas, so I'm going to take it out of the box. Okay, and I apologize, I can't off the top of my head remember the name of her Etsy shop, but I will put it in the description. 
Um, maybe it says in here. Peachy Garden. I'll double check that. It's a thank you card. It's very nice. So, um, and then she sent me, ooh, some pretty stickers. And then we have this cute little bag. I like this. Nice presentation. I, I approve. Okay. Okay, it looks like I got some ribbon here. I don't know if I'm supposed to put that on. I can't remember what the charm looks like on Etsy. Or if she just sent that extra just because. Oh my gosh, it's much bigger than I thought. Holy moly. Yeah, this is not going to be able to hang off of my planner. <laughs> That's what I thought it was going to be. It was a planner charm. Um, but that is much too big for my planner. But it is certainly very pretty. So let me try to get all these. I don't want to break it. Um, scissors. I blatantly do not pay attention to sizes when I order things. Okay, so this is what happens. Um, this was gonna be a planner charm, but obviously this is too big for my planner. So it would be more appropriate for a bag or something like that, which is fine. Um, I've done this before, like I've bought a backpack on Poshmark. It was a Kate Spade backpack and I thought it was gonna be a medium sized backpack. And of course I, I didn't, you know, check the measurements. And I got it and it looks like it's for an American Girl doll. I mean, it's so tiny, it'd look ridiculous on me. So, um, totally my fault that I did not investigate how big this was, but it sure is pretty. I mean, it's got like this vintage -y, flowery looking thing. And I think it's supposed to go like this. Yeah, so. Very pretty. And I suppose my extra ribbon is for uh, if the ribbon falls off or something like that, but pretty colors, definitely, but it definitely is too big for my plan. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's all I have to report other than, you know, coming up in the future, I will have another flip through, which I haven't done for a long, long time. So I have been kind of embracing my weeks and I think that's because I really do like it. I have two years worth um, from previous years and now this one and it's a great book for well I'll probably do a separate flip on this but you know it's one of those books where you can use it you can be totally messy you can make it nice and neat and pretty you can do both I mean I have weeks that are really pretty and I have weeks that are really ugly so I've kind of fallen back in love with my Hobonichi Weeks, which, which means my personal planner has been kind of my home planner, where it kind of stays home and um, doesn't get a lot of use. So, and I think part of the reason I got excited about my weeks again is because, you know, we're not that far away from the Hobonichi release for 2022. So now I'm getting all excited about Hobonichis again, makes me miss my weeks and so here I am carrying my weeks again so um I can probably do a video on that though another time and I also want to do a video on this project I'm working on um I'm trying to put I've been trying to find a way to organize my stickers because they're out of control and I thought oh these sticker release books these would be fabulous and I think they will be fabulous but what I didn't stop to think about is how long it was going to take me to put all my stickers in these books. I mean, really, I've only gotten this far. So, yeah, that is a project. I think it'd be okay if you didn't have very many stickers and then you kept it up as you went along. But I have an enormous amount of stickers and this is going to take me forever and a day. So, so anyway, the plan is to get these full of the stickers and then put it in a traveler's notebook, which I have a couple lying around. And that's how I will have my stickers organized. So more on that later. And then I'll do a flip through of my personal rings. 
later as well. So I think that's about it. Um, I'm very happy with my Galen leather purchases and also my Southern Bell plans, markers, bookmarkers, page markers, whatever you want to call them. And my charm is cute, although a little big. So that's, that's all I have to say. Until next time. Bye.